हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय स्टूडेंट्स टॉपिक इज क्राइटेरिया फॉर कॉन्ग्रुएंस ऑफ ट्रायंगल्स और कंडीशन फॉर कॉन्ग्रुएंस ऑफ ट्रायंगल्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डू एक्टिविटी बेस्ड अपॉन द कंस्ट्रक्शंस लास्ट वीडियो आई हैव डन विद द पेपर कटिंग एक्टिविटी एंड नाउ माय टुडेज एक्टिविटी इज बाय द मेथड ऑफ कंस्ट्रक्शन एंड इन टुडेज वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शो दैट ए एस एस ए एस आर एच एस एंड एस 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 ऑल दीज फोर आर द कंडीशन विद द हेल्प ऑफ दैट वी शो दैट टू ट्रैंगल्स आर कॉन्ग्रोवेंट फॉर दिस वी रिक्वायर यर प्रोट्रैक्टर सीजर्स स्केल पेन्सिल कंपासेस स्केच पेन एंड दिस शीट्स वेर वी आर गोइंग टू डू कंस्ट्रक्शन ओके सो लेट अस स्टार्ट द फर्स्ट वन आई हैव आई एम गोइंग टू शो दैट ए एस ए for this already i have made one triangle in this this red color information is given it means 160 degree angle 165 degree angle and the base line 8 cm is given a s a this is the first one with the red color one so the side is always included side what is the meaning of included side the side between these two angle side between this two angle is known as included side so asa means two angle and included side so the same way here we are going to construct one 60 degree angle base line already i have drawn over here so that i can save my time and now we will uh, see that 60 degree angle so just arrange your protractor and wherever 60 degree is there just mark a point and at a point at angle b we need their 65 degree angle so just arrange here and wherever 65 degree is there again mark and use your scale and join these two points so this is your 60 degree angle and this one is your 65 degree angle okay so if you want you can write down here this is your 60 degree angle this is your 65 degree angle so with the help of this two angles and given side i have created another triangle and now we are going to cut this the point will be c dash so just we are going to cut this triangle so the triangle just now we have created i have cut that triangle and now i will keep this on the first one 60 degree and 60 degree 65 and 65 this is 8 cm so here you can see that both the triangles covers each other exactly okay you can see here this is the first one triangle and this is the another triangle already drawn so with this activity i have shown that with the help of two angles and one side if we create another triangle so that triangle will be congruent these two triangles are congruent it means asa is one of the criteria to show that two triangles are congruent now we will go for sas so again this is my another sheet so again red color one information is given two sides so this two side one is of 6 cm one is of 8 cm this is given and included angle so again included angle between this two side the angle this is known as included angle so this angle is given now with the same way we will do construction on the right hand side base line already i have drawn now here i want 80 degree so i will make here 80 degree so this is my 80 degree with the help of scale i will draw here one line so this is my 80 degree angle okay this side is given 8 cm this is 6 cm we need to cut so directly from scale you can measure 6 cm or you can use your rounder since this is not the construction chapter so you can use your scale and mark wherever 6 cm is there in construction chapter it is compulsory to make arc using your rounder and now join this so your this point will be c dash so now these two triangles we have 
created here with the help of construction now again i am going to cut this the second one right hand side what i have constructed just now so cut this okay now again we will arrange on the first one you can see that this is 80 degree this is 80 degree this is 6 cm and the red color one is already 8 cm so just arrange here you can see that these two triangles are congruent they covers each other exactly they are in same shape and size so with this activity i have shown that if two side and included angle is given we can construct another triangle so these two triangles are always congruent so SAS is also one of the criteria to show that two triangles are congruent. Now we will go for the third one that is RHS. So here again with the red color lines this one is already given this 90 degree since right so right angle is it is given baseline 8 centimeter any one side will be same it may be baseline or it may be perpendicular here i have taken the baseline length is same and this hypotenuse 10 centimeter this information is given so now same way we will construct here on the right hand side so at a point a dash we require here 90 degree angle so just put your protractor and wherever 90 degree is there just draw here put a point over there and join this so that this is your 90 degree now here this is 10 centimeter this is also the another way instead of using scale directly from here also you can measure the length between the pointer of your compasses and pencil okay this is 10 centimeter so from the point b dash you can make one arc and wherever you are getting point of intersection join this with the B dash and the new point will be your C dash. This is your C dash. So this is also 10 centimeter. Again the same way we are going to cut this. Just cut this triangle. and put it on the left hand side triangle so now also you can see that these two triangles are congruent they covers each other exactly they are in same shape and size okay so with this activity also i have shown that if we know about the right angle we know about the base side and if we know about the hypotenuse and if we construct another triangle so these two triangles are also congruent so we have shown that rhs is also one of the condition to show that two triangles are congruent now the last one this is your SSS congruence condition. So for this I have taken one rectangular sheet and just fold it from the middle and make here two points. One is X and one is Y and in middle take any point. Suppose I have taken this point A. So what you are supposed to do, do that just open it and make one crease on the left hand side make a nice crease okay open it and on this crease you just make two points suppose this point is B and another point is C okay and now join this B and C fine now just fold it again and where with your rounder pointer at point C just make a hole so that on right hand side also you will get this point C same way just make a hole for the point B. So you can see that you are getting here two points let this point be C dash and this is your B dash. 
okay now again we will make the crease so that same crease you can see on the right hand side okay so just again use your sketch pen and join this crease so that is your b and c dash now with the help of scale we will join these two points even you can do that with the paper folding also or you can use your scale and join b to a and same way here b dash to a and c dash to a okay so now on right hand side you can cut this triangle you can cut on the right hand side triangle and now arrange it on the left hand side so here also you can see that these two triangles are congruent okay this is my right hand side triangle and now i am just folding it over here so you can see that these two triangles are also congruent so what we have done here we were knowing about three side this bc this ba and ac with the paper folding activity it means same length you are getting on another side also so if we know three sides of a triangle and another triangle again three sides are equal in length then the triangles are congruent so we can say that with by sss congruence condition also we can say that two triangles are congruent so sss is also one of the criteria to show that triangles are congruent so with today's activity i have shown that these are the four criteria which are the four criteria asa sas rhs and sss the important point here asas is the included side sas angle is the included angle between two side rhs r is for right angle h is for hypotenuse side is means any one side it may be base or it may be perpendicular and the last one is sss side 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 so these four are the criteria to show that two triangles are congruent a triangle has six parts six elements three angles and three sides so 3 plus 3 will give you six parts so instead of six parts we can show only three parts in different combination these three parts if these three parts are equal in length and measure then the triangles are congruent so these three combinations which three combinations are there asa sas rhs and sss thank you for watching today's video